Welcome to our show, Roam Around the World. And we have a very special guest today. She is a beauty queen and actress with a multifaceted personality. One of the nicest persons in showbiz. So, uh, would you please welcome Miss World 1973, Miss Evangeline Pascual. <laughs> thank you, thank you for having me in your show. It's my pleasure to be here. It's nice to see you again, my friend. And thank you very, very, very nice. We met first at the uh, Christmas party of Actors Guild of the Philippines. And I was and the chairman. Yeah, you were the chairman at the time and you're very accommodating. So I said, uh, uh, this person is something you can treasure forever. Oh my goodness, thank you very much for that. <laughs> so uh, since this is a travel show, I would like to ask you on the countries you have traveled and then what are your favorites? I've been around probably halfway around the world many times, but gusto ko lang i-share sa iyo na maybe a year or a couple of years ago, I went on my solo venture. I went to Europe. I went on a backpack. But I oh. had to get the permission from my mother. I told my mother, Mama, I want to go to Rome again and to Europe again and go around on my own. And, I and wanted, how old were you then? Two years ago. Oh, okay. When, when people would think you can't do it anymore, you'd be afraid to do it. I traveled regularly, but I thought of jumping into that challenge of traveling on my own using my backpack. But of course, I had to arrange all my uh, reservations here in Manila. My mama told me that you better do it now and not hanggat kaya mo. Because one day you just find yourself like me, she's 87 years old, and she couldn't travel anymore. So she gave me the blessing. I went to Rome, I went to Milan, I went to Venice, I went to Venice, I went to name it in Europe. But I was going from one place to the other by a train. For how long was that? I was traveling for almost a month. But there was a time I was around uh, in Rome and I had nothing better to do. And I had to run around the uh, Colosseum. Oh, I love that. I jogged yeah. around the Colosseum. Really? Because I was left by the tour group. And I, could, I was inside the Colosseum, but I thought I'd rather do something more sensible for me that I'd love doing. I was jogging around the Colosseum. Instead of being, getting upset or being left? Oh, I, don't, did I don't know the word upset. Oh, it's the same here. <laughs> So, um, one of my favorite scenes also is Rome. So, what are the other attractions you love there? Like, of course, you see the Vatican. Of course, you see the Vatican. Of course, you see. Oh, hmm. I went to Venice. I went to. The canals are beautiful. Yeah, but they gave me a little headache. Why? <laughs> like this smell. Is fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> when you take the. But Venice is more beautiful in Italy. Yes, it's more romantic. Saint Mark's What Square. What is that song that they? There it's now or never. It's always the music that they play when you ride, oh. ride the canoe. The the mm -hmm. yes. And of course, I have a friend, a dear friend who lives in the San Francisco Bay Area. She's actually here with us today. Oh, okay. And I spend a lot of time with her when we just want to get lost in the wilderness. Oh. I would visit her there and then we pick up some tickets. We go to LA, we go to, we go to Europe together, we go to Switzerland. And we just do that in the spur of the moment. It's mm. nice to travel. I love San Francisco too. When you are already done with your duties and responsibilities as a parent, then I would like to share and be proud of, say it with candor, that I think the children are fine. In this time, I've begun loving myself by entertaining myself. That's true. And entertaining the world and celebrating life. Entertaining the world. Let's go back. Let's have a flashback. Let's do about it. Miss World. Oh my okay. Lord. Okay. You're 18 years old at the time, 17. Right? I was illegally 17. Got you there. Oh God. <laughs> I was illegally 17, a contestant at the time. The requirement was a minimum of 18. I was 17. And you, I think you were the tallest, or top, one of the tallest of the tallest. finalists. Um, I took uh, a lot of uh, that margarine. <laughs> <laughs> you were first runner-up, right? Yeah. But uh, based on the great mind. Um, the, the winner was dethroned for I don't know for what reason, but you were offered the throne, like as Miss World. Well, it's not, really, it? it's not really I was offered. It was automatic that if you are the first runner-up, automatically when the Miss World is dethroned, without even saying it, automatically you become the Miss World. It's just like if you're the vice president, something happens to the president, what are vice presidents for? 
you know, so it's automatic. It goes without saying. But when the people from the Mecca world, Mecca production, went to Quran, but I talked to my parents, and they opened me the crown, I think I was already falling in love. I was it was love. No, I was falling in love with my country. I realized that I'm from Philippines. I was already doing my movie work. I, I, do, I, I, do not, I do not want to pay for my own airfare. Oh, they don't pay for that? They don't want to pay for it. And oh, then they but nevertheless, a little did I know when I refused the crown, for me, because that time, people were saying that the title belonged to the Philippines. I heard about that. And when they took it away from us, and then they would return it when things are over. There's no honor anymore. It's going to be like stupid to do. That's what I've heard. That's what I want to clarify with yes. you. I've read from newspapers and stuff like during the contest, and which I viewed part of it. We should be this world. Well, no questions automatic, asked, so but, okay. but sometimes, like, yeah. not all contests are fair and square. They have their choices of their own. So, again... Hindi naman. Ang nangyari naman doon. It's all my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Ang nangyari naman doon, automatic kasi na... I'm not trying to defend myself. Oh, yeah. Automatic naman na gano'n ang mangyayari. Kaya lang, I refuse to be crowned. Because you were busy with movies already. I've heard that you ink a contract with... Uh, I was doing certain productions and there were FPJ. Yeah. And then, I was and then you won't have time anymore because if you will be Miss World, you'll be ha ha like one year, you have your obligation. So no movie at the Hindi naman sa ganun, pero hindi ko na feel. Oh, yun na Tapos po baga, tapos na yung aking part ng life ko na yun. And so I move on and go to my... But for me, you're the Philippines Miss World. Thank you. Thank Megan Young is next. Thank uh, you. Yeah, it's uh, like, it's legally you are. So... Congratulations for Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> and then uh, let's talk about your travel or your journey as an actress this time. How many films so far have you made? I don't know. 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 I don't Ano mo? Eva Reyes? Eva Reyes is a... Uh, Tawag din siya. She was the one who crowned me as Miss Republic ah, so, of the Philippines. Ah, so ano din siya? Miss Philippines din Miss pala? Miss Republic of the Philippines. Uh -huh. so, siya ang sinundan ko. Tapos ang kinround ko si Agnes Rustia. So mm -hmm. pare-pare ako yung taga-women. So tatlong taong sunod siya. Apat actually, so si Zane Gonzaga. Oh, so same. Yeah, she's also an actress now. Yeah, yes, yes. What are your uh, favorite films? Oh, lahat naman eh. Not the one. But the one it required your acting, talaga na emotional, mental. The the fun of it all is doing a film with the FPJ, Shenfrey. Oh, Shenfrey, that is the king. The king, the king. Ilang naka ilang ilang FPJ ka? Ginawa namin yung ang pangalan may Jamilio. It was an entry to the film fest, and then the kulo ng dalawang kasunod may Jamilio part two, part three. So I think that's you know I don't know. Pusa na kulo siya na sequel. You think I found that? Because you're beautiful, gano gano, Miss World. Hindi ka ba naligaw ni FPJ that time? Hindi eh. Hindi ta siya ba? No, no, because FPJ was really one mentoring me. Siya pa nung tuturo sa akin mag-dubbing. And then... You were 18 at that time? I was already 18. And he was very kind. And actually, my mama, she requested her to play the role of my mother in that media video film because wala na siyang makuhang nanay na makakahawig ko. I think FPJ wanted to get Norma Blanca Flor but she was taken for another movie. Mm -hmm. So si mama ko ang naging nanay ko sa so pipi ko lang yun. And my friends were part of the Borgata ko doon. Eh, who can say no to the king? Nobody. Of course. Nobody. Yeah. The last movie I've seen you in Adon Suryana? No, Tito. In Madison Suryana? Oh, that was a long time ago. I was actually direct... Four years ago? Yeah, more or less. But I did a movie with Adon Suryana, Richard Thomas. Oh, yeah. So was that last year? A couple of years ago. I don't read this movie from my head. I have no movies now. I'm diverting my attention on other matters.
Well, uh, Miss G, we'll talk about your uh, travel, your journey as a multifaceted personality. So, like be your to be a Toastmaster. Be oh, a you mentioned Toastmasters. Oh, I'm so crazy about Toastmasters now. For me, it's a transformation of my life. Before I was a, became a Toastmaster, I was a broadcaster for 20 years. I would be asked to be guest speakers here and there. But when I went to Toastmasters, I thought I knew all, everything about public speaking until I. Toastmaster changed the questions for me. So do you think it also enroll in that or be a member of it? If you want I've been to talking around several times in other countries too, but I think this will hone further my skill in public speaking. There you go. It goes with, when you are a person who think that there's more room for you to discover for you about yourself. There's so much more that you could do. It's that means you are a person who's living life to the max. And learning in life is never a, learning is a never ending, ending learning point. process. And if we jump, when I jumped into Toastmasters, I was invited by one lady, my mentor, the beautiful Baby Lou, and I hope you meet her and interview her one day. She socialite, is, I would love to a, meet her. She's a socialite, she's a mentor, she's a, living her life to the max now. And I heard she has a good heart. She, she has a good heart and she has a good mind. Oh. She has good intentions for other people, you know. Well, the first time I met her, I thought she would be my inspiration in the redevelop developing myself further. But when she was already mentoring me, I was hating her. Oh. Because she was telling me all the wrong things in my life about myself. Which is good. By public speaking. When I thought I was great, I was good. Oh, she dished it all out to me. But you know, I had to bear it all because I just want to learn. And that's the way it is. When you're welcoming suggestions, opinions of others with a grain of salt, then learning begins. Growth begins. And learning is a never-ending process. Though. Each day we meet people, we learn something from them. So, so Toastmaster is a club that was that developed, that was founded abroad many years back, and now it's all over the world. You go through different levels of public speaking trainings mm -hmm. until you reach the highest norm that is becoming a distinguished Toastmaster. And I am already a distinguished Toastmaster, mm -hmm. meaning my caliber <laughs> would be at par as other speakers all over wow. the world. And That's that great. is because of the baby Luat who pounded on me, who nagged me. But In a positive way, for you to learn more. Like all all the ways? Yeah. All the ways? <laughs> no, not to meet her. But the bottom line here is when you try to discover about yourself, what else you could learn, here in Toastmaster, because you hear the evaluation, you're given feedback, you have no choice but to become humble and embrace all this feedback given you. Humility is the key word to becoming a good speaker. Humility is the best word for you to embrace and learn and master when other people are mentoring you, because it would hurt. Yeah. It would Humility hurt. will take you everywhere, anywhere. Like you always stay grounded. It was a lengthy interview, but I learned a lot from you. So, yeah. Miss G, what are the advices you can give to the beauty queens, actors, and hosts? For all those who want to be partners in Crown, believe in yourself. Once you start filling out the forms as a candidate of any beauty contest in my book, as you sign that, that means you believe in yourself. You're beautiful, and in my book, you're already a beauty queen. Go positive, go explore the world. Make this your springboard to be able to discover more about yourself and be able to make a difference in the life of your country. Now, as an artist, of course it's difficult to paint, but consider that we all have something deep down in our hearts that sometimes we cannot tell other people. Be, ex be daring to put on Put it on on canvas, write it down, draw it, sign it, own it. It belongs to you. One day in your life, somebody will recognize your talent. But whether it comes or not, it is yours, it is your privacy. And for me, you're an artist in your own God special way. If you are a person 
who likes to make a difference in the lives of other people, learn how to do it. Study how to become a mentor. Do not rely on your own laurel. Do not rely on your own learnings. Be humble enough to accept teachings of other people. Be humble enough to share what you have learned to other people. For some, you can give, a, give it for a handshake. For some, you can get it for a drink. For some, you can charge for a fee. And that's okay. For to you all people going around the world and roaming around the world, celebrate the limitless capacity of having an open mind. <laughs> all you out there, don't forget to push. Push. Pray until something happens. Wow, I love that. Yeah. And you know what? The bottom line is humility. Whatever you achieve in life, always be humble. Prayer also, humility and prayer. Thank you very much, Miss World 1973, actress, multifaceted personality, a beautiful outside and inside. Miss Evangeline Pascual. My pleasure.